Morning, folks. This is Daniel. Do you have a couple of minutes? Um, this morning, I want to talk about yes and. There is an exercise that we do in improv for any of you have taken improv, and it's called the yes and, where no matter what the other person says to you, you respond with yes and, and you add to the scene. It's just a way of encouraging the dialogue to continue to for the scene to grow and it really makes it better you know and this is just goes for regular life when you say no to something it automatically blocks it and the conversation will not continue or it just makes it harder to continue um like most of you i've posted comments on facebook and have found that although sometimes you're asking for positive or you're just asking a simple question, somebody comes along and blocks it, automatically knocks you down. Even when folks may be asking, I have five fruits, which one do you like? There are folks that will point out the sixth one that you did not post and why you should do it. So here's my challenge for me, and I welcome anybody else who wants to do this also, is today try to be a yes and person. Anybody says something, yes, and continue the conversation. Yes, and look for the positive sides of things. Yes, and try to be supportive and encouraging. Instead of blocking people down and knocking them because you just don't agree or don't like it or don't feel like it, yes, and. And, and I want to see where it takes me today. I have a couple of errands to do, so I'll be out and about. So I'm going to work very hard at yes and people. Um, it works in improv and it makes for really great scenes. And I've done it several times in my own life, so I'm going to see how it works today. So here's my challenge for you guys. It's early in the morning, or here in California, and I encourage you to yes and. Thank you for listening, and have a good one.